Hey YouTube, Render here. This is another rendered review. Today we're going to be looking at Robots in Disguise Transformers Optimus Prime. This is Warriors class Optimus Prime or a deluxe figure to uh, everybody else in the world. Because that's really what it is. It's just it's just a deluxe figure. Um, so first and here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. <clears throat> So we've got his name here, Optimus Prime, who is apparently six years old. Um, we've got Transformers written on the side. Robots in disguise. We have a picture of Prime smiling, which I think is actually good work artwork. I'm not a huge fan of the artwork for the cartoon right now, but I don't know. The box art looks kind of cool on it. And we've got the same smirky prime right there on the side. Nothing, of course, on this side. We have people down here, who everyone in the line. So it's B, Drift, and Steel Jaw listed there. On the back, we have information about the little, uh, I don't know, scan symbol. I forgot what they call that thing. And that you can unlock it, play it in the video game. Over here, we have our instructions. And apparently you can change them up in nine steps. Over here, we have them in truck mode and what I will affectionately call what I want to be when I grow up mode. So this is what Prime's going to look like after he is in robot mode. And apparently he will be older than six so he can play with his ax. So there you go. That's the box. And he's gone. So. Here we've got Prime in truck mode. And we're going to get our camera looking right at him here. And it is small. I mean, it's small. Um, trying to get an idea here. We'll go around and look at him here. See if we can get a... Good view. This is the truck mode. He does come with a trailer. The trailer is part of him. You got smoke stacks over here. Uh, you know, one, two, three, four, ten wheels on them all together. There's his chest, not so hiddenly hidden. And there's the back. Of course, you can see this is going to be where his feet are, not so hiddenly hidden. So much for the robots in disguise portion of this. Red and blue paint scheme, which is nice because it still goes along with, you know, Optimus Prime that we all know and love. Black, if you look on the side, no, no paints for windows. Not really much room for a window. It's, it's there. You see it kind of molded. Really, really small. It's right there. And you can see kind of an awkward door. So, I mean, there's that. There's some steps on the side. There's his uh, rear view mirror. Uh, you know, tires have some tread on them. We'll go around it one more time. There is the back. I think those are his brake lights or his truck. I don't know. Could be. Might be. Let's hope. Uh, smokestacks. On the side, detailed in, little, little, you know, pipe work, I guess you want to call that. More stairs, awkward door, awkward window, black window, and there's your little cell phone symbol, which I don't use, so I don't mess around with it. Um, yeah, anyway. Got a little bit of a grill. We got some nice uh, blue paint, uh, kind of a, that, that glassy paint for the lights up here in the front. Um, I like that. I like that that blue, kind of a I don't say light blue, but metallic-y teal. There you go, teal. Teal's a good word. And of course, his axe is stored. And that's probably one of the ones that I don't like as far as a stored weapon. Um, and I really actually had to double check this a few times to make sure that that's kind of how it was supposed to go. 
And I may even still have it wrong, but as far as storing a weapon, uh, no, you know, I mean, I, no, that's all I can say in regards to that. That's just not a really great weapon storage. <clears throat> so kind of giving you some ideas as far as comparison, bam, let's pull this out here. There's Bumblebee immensely huge. I mean, you know, it's a large figure compared to prime truck. You know, get that out of the way. Steel Jaw. Steel Jaw's gonna run over him like it's nobody's business. I mean, it's like like looking at a monster truck uh, sitting next to Hot Wheels. Really, that's really what it boils down to. Prime looks like Hot Wheels right here. Um, so, you know, Steel Jaw kicking his butt every step of the way. I don't know. And then if you really want to get ridiculous as far as size comparison goes, strong arm right next to Prime. Again, immensely huge, you know, for a figure that's supposed to be taller than every, or for a character that's supposed to be taller than everybody else. And, and you know, it goes back to the old saying, Hasbro has had its issues as far as always maintaining things in scale. It happens, you know, that's just what it is. Um, I'm going to go on record first saying Warrior Class was not a scale I think Optimus Prime should really ever be in. I think, um, you know, moving them up one step, uh, not necessarily always Leader Class, but, you know, the, um, the Voyager Class, I think works really well for Prime considering, um, you know, the fact that he's usually a truck and the fact that he's usually taller than everybody else, bigger and whatnot. I think that that's kind of more his um, sweet spot. And you can look as far as the size goes here. Oh. You know, I mean, as, as a truck long, you know, height wise, let's see if you can see it, he is taller than Bumblebee. I mean, he's a good. Um, let's see if we can get it up here. He's a good bit taller, you know? Let's see. Nah, we're gonna move it all the way back. Okay. He's a good bit taller. You know? So that kind of gives you an idea. A couple of wheels on him. And I think part of that has to do with the fact that most of, you know, it, it won't be nearly that tall when he's transformed, obviously. Um, you know, there you go for that. Thin, 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 thin. Even in comparison, you know, he's a thin truck. Some of that will fill out when he transforms, which is, you know, good. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's get to it. Transforming. Um, this kind of sits in tight, the axe does. You got to really futz it out. <clears throat> okay, I think the axe was actually going to beat me. Um, so I just could look at the axe real quick. It's molded in detail. I like that. This kind of reminds me of the axe that came, you know, that in the, um, was it Fall of Cybertron game uh, that he pops out? I, and, and I've always kind of really wanted one of that. I know there's been some third-party people out there who've made axes for that, that particular thing. I, I've just never gotten them. Um, but all in all, I like the axe. I really do. Um, you know? Nice orange. I think it would have sufficed to have it a little bit translucent, um, kind of give it, you know, that energy look to it. I think that's probably what they were going for. I don't know if they just figured that translucent plastic would not work. I don't, you know, whatever happens there. But, um, you know, it looks nice. I, I like it. Um, there's little pins for it. 
um, right here in the handle. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Right here. That's kind of where I was having problems with because it plugs into right here and it is a tight fit, you know. So you put it in there, you got to give it a good push. There's two more tabs in the legs right there. And those line up right here on the blade. So uh, a little bit of a struggle for me to get it out there. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh well. On to the meat and bones, transforming. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring these side panels right here, down, into place. They tab. Tabs are going to go right there, I think. No, they're actually going to go right there. Tabbing. Bam. Can we see that? Tab right there. Right into place. There's his legs. You're like halfway there. They separate. Obviously, there's a tab right there. You're going to want to turn his legs around. And you're like, now you're like two-thirds of the way there, and I've barely done much of anything. So there you have his uh, legs. You have his chest. You have his arms. The next part is you're going to separate the top, because it's just all that is right there is one huge line separating it. And these are going to come down and twist them around. And his arm's going to untab. This right here is a post. His fist fits into that post. Um, let's get a look at that here. So, yeah, his fist, post, post fist. Oh, uh, this post. There. Fits in there. And then this piece comes down. This is on a single joint here, or it's on just a single joint. Fist comes down. This part does not move. So, you know, you're going to have his hands right there in the uh, hood of the cab, I guess, where the engine would normally be. Same thing, second side, fist post, bring it down. Autobot symbol looks a lot better on him. And Last but not least, head comes up, bam. Let's see if we can get a good look at his, his head. Can I get a good look at his head? I can't, apparently. There we go. Look at that. He's got the mask, and I'm glad for that, honestly. I'm not a big... There are people out there who aren't fans of the mask. I like the mask. I think the mask looks good. I think it's just my prime. That's my 1984 prime. You know? Some molded-in detail. I got the fins on the helmet. I just lost them. Got the fins on the helmet. Right here. You know, you got some eyes in there. There's no light piping. Um, as you can see, no nowhere to put it. The head is so small that you just couldn't have it. The eyes are kind of a, a blue. Um, silver face mask. And there you go. Now, the, um, let's go ahead and look at some of the articulation on it. The elbow is on a ball joint, so you have 360. You have up and down, both sides, you know. Kind of got that rock'em sock'em robo look in his hands. Probably looks like a boxer at that point. Uh, here's my gripe. Um, that's his shoulder movement right there. I mean, up and down. You're taking the whole thing. Here's a look at that. So, I mean, it's on just that joint, right? Yeah, you can get... Um, a little bit of movement back here, but you can go back and forth. And he goes all the way around in the 360 on the shoulder there. So, I mean, you know, you get that. But what you don't get, or what you do get, but you don't get really well, 
is some upper shoulder movement for posing uh, on either side. He's just going to hit his head with his big cauldrons. Not not cool. I don't, you know, not not for me as far as I'm concerned. I think it's kind of big turnoff on the figure. Uh, you get side swivel on the hips. Uh, you do get. Um, you know, the hips go all the way up and down. You get a little turn here. And they go up. So you get that. And you get some knee movement, which is good, because you know the knees go back and forth. No ankle. It's all, you know, clearly um, molded in. So, uh, you know, you're not going to get any dynamic posing. For sure. Um, he will stand there. Let's put his shoulder back in place. So it, man, by default, I just want to pull that shoulder out a little bit. I really do. Uh, every time. And we give him his weapon so you can see how that looks. And the weapon sits firmly in there. So I like, you know, I still like the weapon regardless. Um, I don't know. There you go. Now I kind of want to have like I'm a lumberjack or Monty Python stuck in my head. I don't know why. There it is. Um, and there's the size. You know, there you go, right there. Now, uh, for you know size comparison here, um, there's there's B next to Prime. Prime is actually taller in that mode as well, not by much, probably about a head. Um, Prime doesn't have the same issues as B does as far as standing, uh, but he is definitely still very much taller, uh, if by just a little bit above the head. <clears throat> and just kind of give you a comparison, here's, here's Beast, uh, here's Beast. Prime, Beast Hunters Prime, and this was, uh, you know, the Voyager class, and um, I'm not going to point out the obvious, but here you go. I didn't put his weapons on him or anything like that, so you're just kind of getting a scaled down. Uh, you know, definitely taller, and I will tell you, my honest opinion is, this is the size that Prime should be. Right here. This is it, right? This is my Robots in Disguise Prime. This is what I think he should be this size. You know, it still coincides pretty well with uh, the Robots in Disguise as far as uh, scale goes. I think this is kind of what it would have represented in the show, and I lost my focus. So, you know, it represented well, I think. Uh, you can see some of the similarities between Beast Prime and... Robots in Disguise Prime, Beast Hunters Prime, I should say, because Beast Prime is different. Uh, they, they kept some of that there, uh, I think as an homage. I think that's the word, homage. Um, so there you go. But size is a factor, and in this case, I think it hurts this figure. Um, I still have it. I still will display it with the rest of my Robots in Disguise line. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> it's a good figure. I just think that he needed to be bigger. Um, <clears throat> but there he is. If, uh, if you see him, you like him, you think it looks good in this size, <clears throat> who am I to tell you not to pick it up? Definitely get him. Um, I definitely hope that they come out with a larger prime. That, that would make me just immensely more happy. Uh, otherwise, this is you know still a decent figure. Um, and there it is. So, uh, again, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you'd like to see. I will do my best. And uh, as always, thanks for checking out the channel, you guys. I really appreciate it. This has been a rendered review. You guys have a great day.